What's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to the second episode of our fun Q&A that I'm doing with the memers and Bugaluff. Chelsea wrote in and said, <laughs> most embarrassing losing your V card, but couldn't feel it, small equipment. Well, Chelsea, I'm right there with you, sister. That was what happened so to me when sorry. I lost my virginity. Oh, no. His dick was too small. He was Asian. I had to thank oh. for Asians back then. <laughs> but my first kiss was Asian, and my first fuck was Asian. Oh. Did he even break your little skin? Oh, no. I had to climb on top of him. We were outside. This is probably why I love public sex. We were outside <laughs> in a backyard on a lawn chair. Oh. And he was on me and couldn't pop my chair. No, actually, we started in the bedroom. Couldn't do it. So we went outside. And then we tried to do it on the lawn chair. And finally, I was like, you know what? Lay on your back. And he laid on his back. And I climbed on top of him. And I popped my own cherry, bitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> And if that doesn't show how dominant sexually I am in every relationship, <laughs> then I don't know what I to love tell it. you. <laughs> yep. So I popped my own cherry bitch. His name was James. <laughs> Shout out to James. Shout out, James. I love you. Uh, you fucking started the whore tour, <laughs> lifelong whore tour for me, buddy. Um, yeah. And then I broke up with him two weeks later because I realized pussy was power and I realized he had the smallish long dong. But yeah, he's still a sweetie, and he was, he was a Libra. He was very sensitive, and, you know, I need more of an alpha male <laughs> for, for how alpha female I am. Shirley wrote in and said, I left my baby dad, and he wanted me back so bad that he'd pay me to fuck him. So make well, him. Make, make him pay you. Yeah. 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 What's wrong with that? Yeah, exactly. Get him to pay you, and then fucking, if you want him back, fucking take him back. But if not... I mean, keep his seems, money. What you're doing yeah. seems to be working. So yeah. just do what you got to do. Yeah, do what you got to do. Men love bitches too. So when you give in, he's not going to give you money. Mm -hmm. Ring said, "My girlfriend thinks if I if a girl likes her comments on my IG pictures, she wants me. Well, That's a hard. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Here's the thing." I don't care if Jelly likes girls' pictures or vice versa. Like, of course, I have dudes on my pictures. Jay has girls on her, his pictures. My thing is, is girls that are like models and stuff like that, that we don't know personally, it's a respect thing. You know, you don't go around just like in random girls' pictures because one, that just looks weird when other people are like, oh, Jelly's all over this girl's picture or oh, Bunny's yeah. all over this dude's picture. Yeah. Like, I would never go and like some dude that's a model that's all fucking built and ripped and shit and go and like a bunch of his pictures because that wouldn't make my husband feel good, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, you have to be respectful. Of course, there's not anything wrong with a girl commenting on yours like i would never if some, there's plenty of girls that think jay's hot and comment and tell him he's hot and i think that's so sweet because he deserves that there's plenty of people that tell me shit every day every time i post something we just don't go out of our way to yeah. follow people that you know we would make the other one uncomfortable yeah and it's a respect thing there's no rules yeah. neither one of us has ever said anything to each other like that mm -hmm. but it's just you know you want to make the person you're with feel good yeah i feel like it was that big of a deal we need to sit down and be like hey i don't like this like yeah you know open communication yeah, yeah totally. absolutely mm -hmm. and, and it feels like there's a like i don't want all back would be like oh insecurity but it says like there's an insecurity somewhere. everybody's insecure yeah i don't care especially online because one none of us look like we do in our pictures period we all yeah. try to make <laughs> ourselves look better i should face tune holler snatch my waist anytime mimi shaved my shoulder off the other day i fucking <laughs> stared <laughs> <laughs> I fucking took a picture and I thought it was so cute and I sent it to Jay because I had chachi hair all over it and I had to edit the hair out and fucking I'm like babe what's wrong with this picture and he's like uh your shoulder and I'm like that's my fucking shoulder that's my real shoulder and he's like oh well I thought you cropped it out or edited it I was like I only snatch my waist honey and smooth my face out okay other than that I don't fuck with the shoulders like come on what a fucking old funny built bitch over here and then fucking I showed it to Mimi and Mimi's like oh yeah let's fix your shoulder I'm like oh my god oh my you guys god. are fucking calling me old pterodactyl oh shoulder <laughs> goal. I was like fuck dude it was, it was this picture right here I'll show you guys this one rude right it was pointy <laughs> and but after <laughs> credit when she asked me if there was anything wrong with it i did not say shoulder <laughs> but then when shoulder got brought up i only could notice her shoulder <laughs> yeah so into the wild set i got so drunk i forgot to take out the tampon and i've never been more embarrassed 
Well, so you just stumbled upon it, I'm guessing. Oh, that happened to me one time. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> did I ever tell this Surprise? story? Yes. No. <laughs> oh, God. I thought I did. No. Oh, my God. Okay, so this one time at band camp. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't band camp. I was with my ex, uh, fucking Frankie. And we had a really drunk night. And I guess I was on my period. Anyways, a week later, I'm like, dude, my pussy smells so bad. And I'm like crazy about my vagina. Like Jay will tell you my pussy smells amazing. Like especially because of how I, the line of work I was in and how I grew up, my pussy is A1. So I knew when something was off and I'm just like, dude, it smells like fucking sewage in my crotch. Like something's wrong. So I went to the doctor. She had my legs up in stirrups, put the thing in there, clicked it, fucking all up in my pussy, everything. She's like, nope, you just have like a little bacterial infection. I'm like, this doesn't smell like a fucking bacterial no. infection. She gives me medicine. I go home. I'm taking the medicine. It's not getting better. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what the fuck is wrong. Well, I was sitting on the toilet taking a dump and it fucking went and came out of my pussy and landed in the water. It was a oh two week God. old fucking tampon that had been stuck in my cervix that my fucking own doctor didn't even see because i have a tilted uterus oh god yeah that's my story when that's... i'm stuck it to... oh my <laughs> god <Fucking awful>. <laughs> <laughs> and now you guys know why i don't eat pussy <laughs> because fucking so those gross. things will hide things oh, oh no. my goodness so yeah that happened so don't feel so bad about it baby shit happens to the best of us <laughs> Ty wants to know how many guys have you slept with? Listen, you never ask a lady her fucking body count <laughs> <laughs> ever. And if you do and they answer you, you multiply it times 10. Okay. <laughs> Cody Whaley said, found out me and my girl lost our baby last week. Please send oh, us positive vibes. I am so, so sorry. sorry, Cody. That's oh, fucking, awful. dude, that's terrible. Mm -mm. That's a fucking rough one, baby. Randy wrote in and said, my girlfriend decided we shouldn't have sex anymore until we are married. Well, I, I mean, if it was like a religious thing or something. Mm, well, it's, he said decided shouldn't have sex anymore. So it's like, you're, you're, you know what you're getting. Yeah. And it depends on when the wedding date is. But, I mean, <laughs> so yeah. If but, it's like two years out or five years out, then buddy, I don't know how you're going to fucking cope. But yeah, if it's literally like six months to a year away, I mean, I think some, she's worth it. Yeah. If, if you it's really true. love her and I, well, I don't like know. Like you said, the difference in your relationship, you know, mm -hmm. going into it with Jay was the fact that like it wasn't all about passion. Mm -mm. I mean, we're passionate yeah, in but, building empires, but we're not passionate sexually. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm not even going to tell this person's name because it's a little weird. But like I said, we don't read these until right now. Yeah. After diarrhea, I clean myself so good. I love it licked. It's relieving. It's embarrassing and gross. I'm so embarrassed and I shouldn't have shared. So after she has diarrhea, her butthole's burning and she wants it licked. Oh my God, it's like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Chachi. Oh. <laughs> it's a villain that's a charge. Oh God. The villain gets up there, dude. He's a <laughs> everything, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, he's the booty like groceries. Oh like. God, that's, <laughs> that's making me want to gag. <laughs> now do you see why I was so caught off guard? I was like, what, what the fuck? What? Like that's soothing, just here. <laughs> does she does she tell them that she yeah, had but... diarrhea prior? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's I what I want to know. Do that. <laughs> first of all, how did you find out that you like that? Yeah. <laughs> like, who did that to you yeah. the first time <laughs> to make you, to who turned you out on asshole licking? Oh. I mean, I guess I could see, because sometimes my butthole burns after diarrhea, and you just want to put, like, a cold compress yeah. on it. Like, wipes for it, though. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's so great uh, i mean people wild oh yeah oh i choked on my boyfriend's at the times cock ring and threw up over the side of the bed oh <laughs> that is sick i mean he i uh, hopefully he was i mean either you're really good at what you do or he wasn't big enough cock rings are like, so dirty i fuck oh god so one of my exes <laughs> oh god had a fucking dick piercing but he had dick he had pierced like the t whole top of his dick so he couldn't pee normally he had to pee in the sink and had to point it down because if he didn't it would spray everywhere and that thing was heavy it gave me a black eye one time <laughs> <laughs> i had him slap me with his dick and it caught the side of my eye and gave me a black oh eye my dude God. 
<laughs> you know, uh, dick rings are gross. <laughs> so when, I don't care what anybody says. When I say like Jason loves to joke of after he's or when he's in pain, he made a TikTok about his dick rip. Everyone assumed he had a Prince Albert ripped out. Oh, you know, like it, I can't imagine. Yeah, how did that not get stuck up inside of you? I mean, were they rings? Were they barbells? I mean, did it feel good? His was a thick ring. Yeah, no, they feel good. But I don't think they're all just for show. And he had like the hole under his dick barbelled out. I mean, he was a piercer. Oh, okay. So he had fucking his top of his dick was pierced and then like the shaft was all barbelled. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just keep thinking of Tiger uh, King. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, little, maybe little said, okay, like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Listen, I got a story for everybody. Just don't, <laughs> don't get me started. We could talk about sex all day long. Do you believe everyone has a soulmate? Absolutely. Of course I, I do. I do too. I'm not going to be the person that says you only have one because you definitely don't just have Oh, no. One. You have multiple. They, they all yeah. teach you lessons. Yeah. But sometimes it's not a guy for a girl and, yeah. and a girl for a guy. Sometimes it's your best friend. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes That's it's your I'm mom. About. Sometimes it's your kid. Sometimes it's your brother. You know, like your soulmate doesn't have to always be sexual. Yeah. I, like, yeah. I saw something the other day. It was like people underestimate like the soulmate between a friend. And that's what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. like definitely you can have your soulmate that is your significant other but like breaking up with a friendship oh, is just is as hard. fucking hard i was yeah. just about to say that when me and my best friend tasha stopped talking and she had got pregnant we literally grew up together it was the hardest thing in the, we talk now we're, of course we're still friends but yeah. we went through a phase when we were younger where we just didn't talk for a couple of years mm-hmm. and it was like i lost a boyfriend like yeah. it was like my heart was broken it, it, and yeah. you like you think about them all the time mm-hmm. and like i had a best friend and we did I mean, I did something a little shitty and like we Aww. both were like, you know, in we both did something bad. Okay? Right. So we just kind of had what we called out like the blackout years mm-hmm. and we literally didn't speak, like fell off the face of the earth. And I like it ached. Like yeah. I truly missed her. Yeah. Like yeah. it sucks. Yeah. Man. No, I know the feeling. I just made up with one of my friends, Victoria. We fucking ended. I was a shitty person to her um, in the last year. And uh, I just recently reached out to her, and she's gonna be hanging with me in Vegas. Yay, but it felt yay. so good. Like we literally just reconnected. Boom. It, Th- that's it was how just it happened like, with me and her, and that's mm-hmm. why we called it the blackout years. Yeah. We just never spoke about it. Yep. It was just like we started kind of stalking each other on Instagram yeah. and Facebook, mm-hmm. and then just one day we were like, "I fucking miss you." Yeah, and that's just they, real friends. That's yeah. real friendship. Yeah. You know, you guys can like my best friend Monica. I can literally go fucking six months without talking to her and text her, and we just pick up where yeah, you know, we left off. But we don't ever go that long without talking to each other but yeah. you know it's just yes everybody has a soulmate matt is asking how is your love life with jelly when you're having sex with other people and doing porn what <laughs> someone is not subscribed i <laughs> i know i love when people <laughs> message me stuff like this because i'm just like first of all who are you secondly who am I having sex with? Like, I have no idea who the fuck I'm having sex with besides my husband, Yourself. and that's very seldom. So <laughs> I, I fuck myself with dildos n- numerous times on OnlyFans, but definitely not having sex with other, pe- other people, unless it's girls, which will happen in Vegas. So if you're not subscribed to my OnlyFans, subscribe, bitches, because it's this <laughs> week that I'm in Vegas that you're watching this podcast. Um, and I don't do, I don't consider it porn. No, I mean, it is it's porn. Kind of, it's the adult industry, but to me, when I think of porn, it's guy, girl, mm-hmm. fucking, there you go. Yeah. This is a whole different side of the adult industry we've never seen before. Yeah. Our sex life is great, though. My husband is, like, the coolest motherfucker you could ever meet. Like, he's... One thing about Jelly and I that makes our relationship work is he lets me be me, and I let him be him. Mm-hmm. We do not get in the way of each other's bag. We... Whatever secures the bag, and... Almost 300 grand later, I think we're doing pretty good on fucking OnlyFans. Right. Fucking holla at your girl. <laughs> Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, Matt. <laughs> my mom walked in on me losing my virginity in high school. Ooh. Hello, mom. That's, I wonder if that scarred her for the rest of her life. Like if she got anxiety every time she had sex because she thought her mom was going to come through the door. Oh, yeah. That's that's hard. Post-traumatic oh, sex. Yeah. Or oh. <laughs> post-traumatic stress. <laughs> <laughs> PTSD, that post-traumatic <laughs> sex disorder. That's hilarious. How um, do you explain that? You're just like, um, 
Yeah, like, what were you doing? Shit, if my mom walked in on me having sex, I was getting my ass beat. I don't know how these parents yeah. do not whoop these kids. If I walk in on Bailey having sex, she's getting oh, whooped. Yeah, And no. I've never even whooped that kid. <laughs> but I'm no, whooping I'm whoever whoop. she's boning and yeah. her, too. No, I'm going to jail because I'm about to beat the shit oh out of some gosh. kids. Oh, my gosh. Like, for real. Two questions. One, has threesomes ever opened bad doors in your relationships? And two, how do you balance trust a spicy love life in y'all's busy schedule? Well, we don't. <laughs> I mean, we mean Jolly and I are going on five years of being together. It's like I'll give him a hand job in the morning and call it a day and be fine with that. Like I'm totally fine with just fitting sex in whenever we can. Like it's not my main goal. We really are so busy. As far as the threesomes, I come from a different side of the world where threesomes are like literally fucking having lunch with your best friend you know (laughs) so it doesn't bother me the girls are always so respectful and so cool now if we had a threesome and a girl tried to like go behind my back first of all jelly would tell me secondly i just said we've never had a girl do that you know and i think that that would be shady but she would she can catch these hands anytime just because not (laughs) because it's her going after him it's because it's disrespect to me yeah that's what i was gonna say you know like i will never beat a bitch up over a dude Mm -hmm. even the girl that jelly cheated on me with i'm cool with yeah you know like i'll never beat a bitch up over a dude because bitches don't owe us respect you know yeah. it's the guy that owes us, owes us respect so jelly would definitely come and tell me yeah. if that was going on so yeah i mean you just have to go into it with an open heart and you know just hope for the best have fun and i, I feel like threesomes bring us closer because we appreciate each other more too yeah We're like, God, i'm glad that's over it's funny it's <laughs> also funny to see like uh guys types you know because it's mm, like oh they don't they don't have a type if it has always, a hole they'll yeah. take it well i mean just like i didn't know that like my husband really you know even you said jay used like love he redheads. loves redhead, redheads redheads yeah. yeah freckly ones yeah with pale skin yeah, like, and so it's funny to see that, like, even though you aren't your type. But, well, this is, Jelly is Bug's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> and she, we're very open in our house, so poor Bug has to hear all this shit all the time about her, her uncle, but, you know, we love you, Bug. <laughs> thanks, thanks for sitting in on this shit. Bug, what's your type? Oh, I don't really have a type. I, okay. She likes baseball players. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just like the baseball pants. Oh, like, okay. A baseball player's got like nice ass, so um, I don't know. I've never really just had a, like had a type. Like if I'm attracted to you, I'm attracted to you. I don't like being attracted more on a personal level versus like physical. Yes, yeah. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because not everybody is like physically attractive. Like, and you have True. quirks and stuff yeah. like that too. And physical attraction goes away after yeah. a while. You could be with the finest dude, and one yeah. day you're gonna wake yeah. up and look at him and be like, ooh. Well. Yeah too like i mean i don't want to say like i'm a smart person but like i have intellectual conversations and i have like various interests and so if we can't talk like you're like a dry sock then we're not talking (laughs) i've had that happen (laughs) i had one time this guy had me on snapchat and he's in the military he's the finest guy ever like military dudes are always so bland he would send me a snapchat every day of him singing a song and one day it was like a one direction song oh and you can tell like he didn't have a lot going on upstairs. I looked him. I, t- I sent him a message one day. I was like, "You're very attractive." I said, "It's a good thing you're very attractive because <laughs> <laughs> not a lot going on up there." <laughs> you're so pretty. Just be pretty, dude. Don't f- be fucking singing One Direction songs. I hate oh, when dude. dudes do that. No, absolutely. I was having sex one time, and this fucking dude. <laughs> you told me that. <laughs> I broke up with this dude because of it. Okay, it was just a fling. His name was Chris. <laughs> and I really tell you guys all these guys' real names. So if these guys ever watch the podcast, they know I'm talking about them. His name was Chris. I still talk to him to this day. I'll see, I'll see him on Facebook and say hi and stuff like that. Sweet kid. Anyways, fucking we were having sex one time and Drake's You're the Best I Ever Had came on. And he's fucking just humping me singing it. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> and all you can do is just take it. And you're just like, fuck, dude. And I'm thinking in my head, I can't wait till this is over. <laughs> Yeah, just Please like, stop. <laughs> yeah, I just, it was, don't ever sing. Guys, no. we don't want to see you sing on Snapchat. We don't want to see you sing when you're in the pussy. We don't care. Unless it's fucking some real alpha shit and you're like fucking hardcore gangster rapping. Yeah. We don't want to see it. No, not at, at all. all. Okay, yeah, Bugs, so do you have a, what's your most embarrassing? When I worked at Sonic, like, I was 16, 17, and the floors would get really slick because of the grease. I wore normal shoes. I think I wore, like, chucks one day. And I was, like, pissed off because I hadn't gone break yet. We were busy. I was, like, going back to do my side work. 
and I like turned the corner and I think it was God's way of checking me because I slipped and fell on my ass. And at the time, I had a huge crush on one of the cooks, which now he is, he's not fine anymore. <laughs> I mean, he's a cook at Sonic. <laughs> well, he was like my age. So, oh, okay. so it was like, you're 16, I thought 17. he was like an old Mexican no, dude. <laughs> no, he was like 17. He has like a receding hairline now, though. <laughs> no, and He's only I, like 22 then. He thought he's like 23, 24. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor thing. Yeah, no, I thought he was so attractive. And so I fell and he came over there. He was like, are you okay? And I looked up. And I was like, just, just don't even help me. <laughs> so I got up and I went to my manager. I'm like, I just fell. She was like, oh my god. I was like, yeah, I'm going break. <laughs> and I clocked out and left. <laughs> oh, you're saying like the most embarrassing shit. Like now it's gonna take a hell of a lot more to embarrass me. But when you're a teenager, that shit hits you straight in the freaking soul, mm-hmm. like yeah. hard. I uh, I, was I telling, must have no shame because I never get embarrassed for shit I do. <laughs> I was like probably 16, and my best friend and I, the one I was talking about, loved her to death. We had these like matching. I don't know if you remember these, but it, they only like they were like halter tops, mm-hmm. and then the string went up. Oh right yeah, yeah, back. I love those. I just ordered some off Amazon. Yes, and then it like flowy, right? Oh, and man. I thought I was a bad bitch and had that <laughs> thing on. And I was in a place. I was in the mall, and I like was trying on a pair of shoes, and my titty <laughs> fell out. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know though. Oh, oh so God. I still think I'm a bad bitch. And this lady walks up to me, and she gets real close, and she goes, "Ma'am." Your boobs hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Karen to the rescue. Right. <laughs> Ruining it for everybody. I like, if I was there, I'd be like, why room. would you have said something to her, you stupid bitch? <laughs> and it was, everyone was looking. She was the only one that just happened Aww, to walk up. And when I looked though. up, I was like, and I just scooped my titty back in. <laughs> I was like, we gotta go. <laughs> I am not a bad bitch right now. I gotta no. go. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for coming on the podcast on this two-part mini series. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I can't you. wait to do another podcast again. Yay. Drop it in the comments if you guys want me to have Bug and Mimi on more. If I get enough comments, then maybe we'll make them the official, unofficial <laughs> guests until Fee ever comes back and fucking blesses us with her presence. I miss Fee, <laughs> yeah. I miss Fee too. Fee like disappeared. She lives in the country right now. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Fee is a fucking gypsy man. When they, yeah. when her and Alexander King preach that gypsy shit they are really gypsies <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of dumb blonde i will see you guys next week bye, bye. bye.